Here you can see the final dinosaur which I made using clay on a uh, plaque uh, matrix of uh, styrofoam. Yeah. And here we're building a smaller version of the T-Rex and we've just used basic building foam that we've sprayed into a shape. And now as you can see we're cutting out basic shapes here uh, in the mid area, the hips, the legs, the ribs, making just some sketches of where the ribs are going to be and using a book. Uh, with a uh, picture or basic picture of a uh, T-Rex anatomically fairly correct and an overhead that we've used to project on the board so that we have an idea of where to cut out our basic shapes. Now, um, we've uh, progressed a little more and I've cut out the basic shape of the T-Rex uh, from the building foam which I sprayed onto the uh, plaque and as you can see I've started making basic shapes using clay and this is a water soluble clay. Here I have the ilium and the ischium, the uh, femur and the tibia and the uh, tarsals of the foot. I'm looking at the larger T-Rex which I made over here as a model and as a guide and uh, that's how far I've come so far over and out. As you can see here I can use a saw to cut out where the ribs are going to be. Here I've added a couple of more ribs to the rib cage as you can see but I still have a long way to go on the face and the neck. Here in the tail you can see I've just cut basic shapes for the tail right out of the styrofoam and um, ready to apply to the clay uh, to the tail. Here you can see more detailed work on half the face and I've created the neck. You can here see part of the arm as it attaches on the rib cage. Here are the ribs of course and then the tail Notice the prominent dorsal bony ridges here on the tail used for muscle insertion. And uh, that's, that's it. Okay, here you can see that I've done a lot of work on the head, the skull. I've added teeth. I've added various small foramina or holes where the nerves of the uh, maxilla and mandible exit and of course I added a little more detail work to the vertebrae of the neck and of course you can see I've added some sand in between the ribs uh, so that when I do paint the ribs I'll differentiate between the ribs and the underlying uh, dirt that uh, would have been excavated um, so there you have that so far. Okay, what you see here is I've uh, painted the the head and the rest of the body with a brown lacquer and uh, I've applied a water-based varnish to the skeleton giving it a shiny appearance and uh, I'm pretty satisfied with it so far except with the legs. I've had to contract the legs a bit so they're not as large as I'd like them to be on the matrix or the plaque. Otherwise it looks okay and uh, pretty soon we'll be able to uh, apply the rubber compound, the uh, molding and the casting.